Um, I mean, it goes back to like all the way back to like the United States invasion of Mexico uh, because Mexico was colonized twice, first by Spain and then by the United States. And when when uh, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, which then like, you know, the U.S. stole all this, all, like half of what the United States is used to be part of Mexico. And as part of the treaty, Mexicans who were now living in that territory were given U.S. citizenship. But at that time in, in the Congress, there were laws that said that only white, free white people could be citizens. So here comes Mexicans who are not white, who most of them were not white. I mean, there were some Mexicans that were, you know, Spanish or that Spaniards that were born in Mexico and they were now called Mexicans uh, who were white. But the majority of the people who were, quote unquote, acquired in that territory were labeled white. And that, I mean, when I go back to it, I'm like, that created such a host of issues for because uno se las creyeron like uno se la creyeron wow. los que no se la creyeron continually have sought whiteness as a way to um to advance as a way of economic mobility as a way to um to protect themselves from racism and discrimination it has never worked out uh uh to try to veil ourselves under whiteness uh but that but that's that's like partly where it comes from is all the way back to then, all the way back to Mexicans being bounty, an unwanted uh, bounty of war, because the way that the border was drawn and, and, and the land that the United States acquired or stole from Mexico was specifically drawn so that they would get the most amount of land with the least amount of Mexicans, because they viewed those Mexicans as a problem.